I'll be riding, here he comes, the best performed surfer in the history of the Stubby Surf Classic, Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew. This could be his last tilt of the World Tour, and Rabbit tearing it apart here today, really turning it on in front of his home crowd, ripping, skimming, carving down the line, Rabbit Bartholomew giving Tommy Carroll a run for his money, and here comes Tommy at the back, off the bottom, thump through the lift, doesn't he give it a bash, carving back into the face again, Tommy Carroll at a third World Championship, not out of his grasp, he's coming back now at the Rabbit, Rabbit getting away to a good lead, but Tommy's on his way back, he probably needs about an eight-point ride to pull it off, and a good wave back to his... Here he comes, King Kong, floats over the foam, drives off the bottom, tail still re-entry, hangs on to it down the line, he comes again, powers off the bottom, slashes the lip, and carves the three, bangs it through the top and hangs on to that one. Oh, a great manoeuvre, floater dropped down into the foam, and Kong busted loose at the stubbies. OK, let's do it, let's go, we're off. Red up and riding, Barton Lynch powers out of the bottom turn and gives Burley his backhand lash. Down the line he comes again, cut back underneath the lip, back into the foam, down the line, ripping the right hand as arcing and carving, roundhouse cut back, there he goes, the butterfly, Barton Lynch screaming down the Burley line. The judges had Rabbit just half a point ahead of Tommy Carroll. But with seconds remaining, we were about to witness perhaps the most dramatic moment of the Stubbies. Checking the clock, folks, we've got about 45 seconds remaining. Nothing Rabbit can do. Look at him, he sits there and waits. Out the back is Tommy Carroll, waiting for that last big set. Will it come through? Rabbit has done all he can do. He holds just a slender lead. And we've got a set out the back, and Tommy's got it. Carroll up and riding. Look at the wall, off the bottom, whack through the lip. Down the line he comes. Tommy Carroll, could this be the winning ride? He's got it here. Off the bottom he comes. He's fallen. Carroll, he's down, he's out. That's it. Out of the stubbies and out of the race for the World Championship. He's blown it. Up and riding, Mark Ocalupo in yellow. Freewheeling down the face comes Mark. <laughs> Off the bottom and over the top. Roller coaster for Mark. Vertical snap from Oki. Look at him go. Interesting that both Mark Ocalupo and Greg Day both model in Paris and Australia. And today they've been remodeling the face of these burly right-handers. Oki, a sigh of relief, he's just done enough. A 7.5 Ryan and Oki will advance into the quarterfinal. Big win for Mark Ocalupo. As the contest goes on, you'll find that I'll go on up and, and surf a lot more radically. Of course, because I have to, and I've, I've got all that left, and I don't like to show it to the judges yet. I can, I've got some left in my back pocket. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to the final day of the Stubbies and things are looking reasonably good down at Burley this morning even though the conditions have changed quite since during the week. The northerly has come in but there's still rideable waves and of course we'll be getting underway here at 7 o'clock this morning and of course the first heat will be that of Sean Thompson and Mark Ocalupo. You Sean out there? He's already gone. Hey Doug. Hey Sean, the rocks You've got first wave priority. Yep. Okay? Okay. So it's going to start in, Bill's keen to start at 7 o'clock, which I'm is about two and a half minutes, yeah. Okay. One and a half minutes. See ya. Go on. All right. I'm on it. Thump, thump, thump. Sliding and slashing the young tear away from Cronulla. Mark Ocalupo, red hot. Cut back. Slashing into the pocket again. Oki. Tearing it apart. And out the back comes Sean Thompson, South Africa. Winding up the waves. Zipping along the face. Rockets down the right-hander. And the guy from Durban is really ripping it to shreds. Sean Thompson in red. And once again, Mark Ocalupo getting away to a sensational start. Oki's already picked up seven waves. Sean has three. Oki vertical snap. And the crowd loves it. Time ticking away. It's unbelievable to think that Mark Ocalupo now has nine waves. Sean Thompson with only three waves. The last few seconds. That's it, folks. That's the end of this one. And... I can't believe it, Sean only has three waves. Look at Mark Ocalupo, like a happy young puppy dog with his bone in his mouth, racing in. He's got the quarterfinal, he'd be stoked, and Sean's blowing it. Mark Ocalupo, fresh from his tearaway win over Sean Thompson, rams it through the lip, and a repeat performance, bangs it through again. Here he is, the young hotshot from Cronulla, Mark Ocalupo, tearing it apart here at Burley. And the big crowd right behind this young fellow. Can he take out the American Tommy Curran? He's got a job on his hands, but he's doing it well. And plenty of support today. He's got young Jenny up there on the point, keeping an eye on things. His young lady looking after things here at Burley. And Oki does it out in the water. Little roller coaster down the line. All 
I can do is sit on the beach and send positive thoughts out there and help him. I find myself leaning into the waves with him and pushing, you know, but you, you can't do that. You've just got to be here when they get out. That's what I do. That's my part. Tommy Curran from the USA just ahead on the judges scoring at the moment with a 3-2 decision going Tommy's way as he rockets down the line over the top little roller coaster from Tommy Curran and Ockie's going to need a big last wave to tip Tommy out of this one and here it comes with seconds remaining Ockie's up and riding off his backhand down the line look at the wall on this one off the bottom and falls for the second time in the contest one of the best in the world has fallen on a wave that could have won him the heat Unbelievable to think that he could fall on that one. Look at the frustration. He's blown it. And Tommy Curran's there for the final of the Stubby Surf Classic. And here comes Hans Hedeman. Gets a bit of a tube and busts out through the white water. So Hans picking off a pretty good wave first up. And a nice manoeuvre from him. Likes trail bike riding, loves the rich food. He's been staying away from that over the past couple of days. He'd love to make the final this year. And here's Barton over the top and gets airborne. Roller coaster drops down into the foam. And the young hotshot from Australia missed a consistency on the tour so far, getting away to a great start. Hans Hiedemann in red, up and riding comes Hans. Nice wall in this one, stalls it, tries to get inside again, gets his head wet, can't hold it, loses that one. And Barton Lynch... Going really well now on this one. He's got the good waves, plenty of consistency, some good high point scorers. Martin pushing it down through this inside section. Through the Sunday afternoon surface he goes. Whoops a little cut back past the cool light. Skates over a couple of heads. Martin Lynch. Barton's done it, he's got the points on the board and Australia's going to be in there for the final. Barton Lynch, Australia, right down. He'll step out almost on the beach and Australia's in there in the final of the Stubbies.